Good morning, it is Tuesday, August 4th, and I'm Pastor Kathleen. We are continuing in our series looking at some of the Psalms, and it's called Here to There, and this week we are looking at just the journey of moving from shame to freedom. And when I think of shame, I also think of guilt, and I make a little distinction between the two of them. For me, guilt is the awareness that I did something wrong. You did something wrong. There was wrong, sinful behavior. Whereas shame is a bit uh, more the idea that I did something wrong. You did something wrong. It's more that there is something uh, not only wrong that you did, but there's something wrong with you. And again, maybe that's a, a, a bit subtle, but it, it, it reminds me that oftentimes shame comes from guilt, guilt that sort of percolates and that we don't deal with. And there's just this overall sense of inadequacy. And again, something not just wrong that we did, something wrong about who we are. And it, it's, it's hard to live with, with shame. And I think we push it away and, and really hide there and get stuck there and try to just look perfect because we're afraid. We're just, there's a lot of fear that comes uh, from, from shame. And um, I'm gonna read for you really quickly a definition of shame that uh, speaks to this. Shame is a painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior. So it's that sense of distress, of humiliation, and I think that there's a spiritual um, practice that can really help to combat shame and allow us to move to freedom. And that is the practice of confession. And I think that we oftentimes practice confession um, in private. We confess to God where we have fallen short, a way that we've been unkind, perhaps getting really angry, um, hurtful in our words and acknowledge that and uh, experience God's, receive God's forgiveness. Hopefully um, those times when what we've done um, offends someone else, we are able to go to that person, acknowledge it, uh, confess it, apologize and receive forgiveness. And I think that's really helpful. I also think though this, this practice of confession when we're able to go to um, a trustworthy and safe person or small group and confess the ways uh, that we have, in a sense, had wrong behavior. We've been unhurtful or unkind and confess that. And then from that group, not that we've offended them, but from that group, sort of receive uh, God's forgiveness. It can be powerful. And for me, when I've had those experiences and done that, it's been freeing uh, just to be able to say, this is what I did and to experience the, um, you know, that forgiveness from another person is very freeing. And we're gonna read um, a personal confession uh, this morning. And we're gonna read Psalm 51, which is David's written out confession, um, acknowledging the sins that he committed in 2 Samuel chapter 11 um, that he didn't really acknowledge until he was confronted in 2 Samuel 12 by Nathan the prophet. So uh, listen to David's uh, journey, uh, I think from guilt and shame uh, to greater freedom in Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth and sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from the, your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. 
You do not delight in sacrifice or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will take, then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous in burnt offerings offered whole. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. So that is David's confession and acknowledgement of the ways that obviously in this case it's his confession to God and yet we get to in a sense we get to hear that confession we get to hear his confession and uh, hear the ways that he cried out for mercy he cried out for forgiveness he acknowledged his his sin and and I sense received um, you know restoration and uh, and just a desire that um, he would experience a cleansing within and uh, so I just encourage you to reflect on this psalm the power of confession and who it is that um, you have that you might uh, be able if there's something weighing on you um, something weighing you down um, again a trusted spiritual companion perhaps a counselor, um, to be able just to acknowledge, perhaps just to write out first your your confession and then to, to be able to read it and to receive uh, forgiveness and, and the healing that, that God um, offers. And just in closing, I want to, to remind us of James 5.16 that in one verse, I think speaks to this process. It says, Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So may we learn the, um, the power of the practice of confession and what that might look, for us, look like for us in our journey. Uh, and again, that journey of moving from uh, shame to greater freedom. And if for any reason you're not getting these sent to your email uh, Monday through Friday, you can sign up at findcommunity.com slash Bible reading. Have a great day. Music